Welcome to Now on Android, your ongoing guide to what's new and notable in the world of Android development. In this episode, we'll cover Google at KotlinConf, Android Studio updates, Android X, and more. KotlinConf just finished up, and Marat covered Google's recent contributions to the Kotlin ecosystem, such as Jetpack library support, tooling, and most importantly, Kotlin multi-platform, including lessons learned and the current state of Google Workspace's ongoing migration to KMP. Also at KotlinConf, Kotlin 2.0 was released to stable along with the K2 compiler. We released Android Studio Jellyfish Patch 2, fixing a security vulnerability in the GitHub plugin. We highly recommend you update Android Studio immediately if you're currently using Android Studio Iguana 2023.2.1 or higher. And the second release candidate of Android Studio Koala is now available, which means that a stable release shouldn't be far off. Ash and Tram put together an article about adding predictive back animations to a view-based Android app, discussing what predictive back is and the steps necessary to implement it, including enabling the back-to-home animation and migrating activities and fragments. Android device streaming is now in beta, allowing you to use real devices in the cloud from top manufacturers such as Samsung and Google to test your apps right within Android Studio. So you can reproduce some reported device-specific behavior or test your adaptive app layouts on a foldable. Hashtag WeArePlay covered the story of Zulao, who lost her sight completely at 10 years old. She founded FYE to create an app that uses AI to describe the world while allowing users to personalize their experience. Google Play provided guidance to help you develop safe and responsible AI experiences, emphasizing policy compliance, responsible app promotion, and rigorous testing. The Adidas team migrated more than 80% of their app's UI to Jetpack Compose, enabling them to build features 30% faster. With the improved productivity and timely introduction of new features, the app's weekly active users increased by 8%. We're continuing our series of I.O. recap videos. Chris covered the top three announcements around Jetpack Compose and form factors, including updates in Jetpack Compose, new Compose APIs and tools for scaling across screens, and building widgets with Glance 1.1. In the top three updates for building excellent apps, Tram covered how to adapt your app to Android 15's user interface improvements, add stylus support for large screens, and get ready for Wear OS 5 with the enhanced watch face format. In the top three updates for building with AI on Android, Terence covered the launch of the Gemini API, upcoming multimodal capabilities in Gemini Nano, and Gemini in Android Studio. We had several new libraries and features launched in Android Jetpack. The stable release of Window Manager 1.3 now supports Kotlin multi-platform. We've just released the first stable version of Graphics Core, including APIs to support low latency use cases such as stylus input. Credential Manager 1.5 Alpha 1 introduces new APIs that can implement an autofill-like secondary UI experience on a username or password field. In Biometric Version 1.4 Alpha 1, we updated the UI to be consistent with platform changes in Android 15. So that's it for this week with Google at KotlinConf, Android Studio updates, Android X, and more. Remember to like, subscribe, Share, stay safe, and chat back soon for your next update from the Android developer universe.